What's up guys, this is Jester of None. Today we're gonna to make a rusted metal texture. Now, this is a long process, so we're gonna split it into two videos. This is the first part, and today we'll be making just the bubbles that we're gonna texture later. So, the first thing you wanna do, take your paint bucket, go on a, a metal-y color, like silver, fill in your, uh, your background, and create a second layer. On the second layer, you wanna make sure that you've checked black and white here. On the second layer, you want to render cloud. Now, the render of the clouds have to be a certain size and style because that will define the um, bubbliness, if, if that's what you want to call it, for your rust. Once your clouds are rendered, you want to go to adjustments, brightness and contrast, and then play with it until you get mostly um, black with little dots of white. Okay, and there you go. You don't need this black space anymore, so just go on the magic one tool, click uh, global, and then click on any black space, and that will select all the black space on the page, and then just hit delete. Select all of the white space, click on the move selection button, this is the, the, the white tool here. Be careful not to use the blue tool, that will drag the image about. All you want to do is drag the, um, the selection about. So you're going to drag this down until you have just a little bit of the white uncovered. You're going to click on the rectangle select and then the invert up here in the, in the top, top left hand corner and drag like that. Finally, you're going to click again on the magic wand tool, click on subtract up here, drag all along, and then click on this any space other than the white. And this will take out anything um, outside of the white, leaving you with just this little edge on the uh, white bubble. Now, go to the next layer up and fill that with whiteness and as you can see you've just got this look like outline so let's start naming our layers just to um, prevent confusion because there's going to be quite a few so this is the bubble face bubble as you may know has an l in it so make sure you have replace selected on the magic wand tool and then click on the white this will pick up all this white again then you want to go and we'll just hide this so that you can see you want to go on to effects, blur, and then Gaussian blur. So what this is doing is it's giving you a highlight effect only on the areas where the bubbles are underneath where the um, where you've created the bubble texture. So you can see already it has a pretty clear effect. It does look like there are lumps on this texture. Okay, so we have our highlight here, and I'm just going to name this layer so it doesn't get confused because, like I said, there'll be lumps. So now the next thing up is you want to make a shadow and that's exactly the same process but in reverse with black so go on your bubble base layer select using the magic use the magic wand to select just the white and then drag the pixels down we're using this tool here the little white move selection arrow drag the pixels down try and do it in the same direction that you dragged the uh, the white the shadow previously if you want to check just uh, unclick that and you can see yeah, this is all on roughly the same angle. Okay, now that we've got this dragged down, you want to go back on bubble base, use your magic tool and click subtract. Now we have just the edges and just in that di direction. Now you want to create a new layer. Take your paint tool and fill this area with blackness. Once you've done that, go back on bubble base. Make sure your tool set to replace. Select any space other than the whiteness and then we'll have this. Select any space other than the whiteness and this will happen. We've got just the black shadow reflected. Make sure you go back on the shadow layer. I'll zoom in so that you can see what's happening. Back on the shadow layer, click blurs, Gaussian blur, and then blur that out until it's um, it's nice and fuzzy. Now we have a minor problem and I think you can probably already see it. This looks like it's hovering above the background. So to fix that, you just go in here, you take um, your bubble base, go in here, select all of your bubble base, do the same thing we just did, but drag it in the opposite direction. Go on the rectangle select, invert again, it's the same process. And then now you're going to m uh, subtract anything that's not inside the bubble. And this gives you just this fine edge around the bubble. Go on another layer, make a new layer, fill it in with blackness, go back on the bubble layer, select the bubbles again, make sure that you have replace set up on your tool, otherwise it won't happen. And then do another blur, Gaussian blur, and you can adjust this until it looks right. 
Now you can see that the shadow texture in the background is a little bit too harsh. So we're just gonna take that down a little bit. Perfect. And the same with the shadow here. Take it down a little bit so until it is merged with the background. And there we go. So you can see now we've got this um, pretty good looking bubble texture going on. And if this is what you're looking for, you can stop here. But the next step is to go on the bubble base, create a new layer at the very top, and now you are going to render clouds again. Effects, render, clouds. Make sure that you're on black and white. And then the scale is going to be pretty small. The roughness is going to be pretty high. And just play with it until you've got a lot of black. Not all. You want a little bit of black and a little bit of white. This looks good. When that's finished rendering, go on adjustments, brightness and contrast. And then you want this to be, you want to push, push this up until there are lots of spaces of blackness. Now that you've got this you want to go to effects, noise, medium. So you want to play with it until you've got something like this. On top of our bubbles we see um, lots of strange black places. So highlight the white, delete it, and then you're going to invert the selection. This is just so that we can see it a little bit more clear, clearly. So now it doesn't look much right now but what we have is holes in our bubbles. And to make this look correct, select the area, go on invert, use the magic select tool and subtract to take out the to take out the background, and there we have a little bit of a highlight. Um, but this is actually going to be a shadow. So we're going to create a new layer, and then fill this area in black. Now you're going to go back down to your. Um, we're going to call this holes. So you're going to back down to holes, make sure your magic wand is, is put on the place, select all the holes, go back up to the drop shadow layer, go back up to the drop shadow layer, which I've just named, Gaussian blur, and then you're going to do this again. Now you can take this opportunity to make the um, holes a darker color than your background. Doing that you'll see that it immediately immediately improves the effect. The final step in this process is just to make the highlights on the other side of this shadow. So you can see we've got a highlight on the inside of the bubble and a, a shadow on the inside of the bubble. We've also got a shadow on the outside and we need a highlight on the outside. So you're going to make this do the same process again. So what I've done is I've selected the bubble space. I'm going to subtract it and then we have just left this outside area. We're going to go on a new layer and then fill that in with whiteness. Go back on our bubble layer, make sure it's set to replace and click this. Click on the and click on the bubble. Then you go into your selection tool and then invert, which is the same thing we were doing earlier. So I'm not going to go through the process exactly. Um, go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, and then you have your highlight. If you think there's a bit too much contrast between those two layers, you can go and uh, blur them. You can also take a second and move these layers together, bubble highlight, merge them together, and just quickly do a small blur. Okay, this should be it for our, for just the physical model of the bubble. If you are unhappy with the way the lighting looks, you can just play with it for a second and make it a little bit smoother. If I take you to here, for example, it looks like little, just a little bit of bubbling on the surface. Um, and I, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm gonna put a link on the screen and this will take you to the texturing of this same model. Thanks for watching guys, this has been Gesture of None. If there are any other textures you're interested in seeing or anything else that you're interested in seeing, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Yeah, yeah you're scared, aren't you? You're scared. Yeah, you better run, go on. Oh, there's two of them, I'm gonna run, I'm running. Oh, I almost ran into fire. Flee, 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 flee.